Hello, welcome to Promixing and Mastering. Today, I'm going to teach you and show you how to de-ease using a multiband compressor. De-easing is basically uh, getting rid of those s or tss 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 or just basically reducing them a little bit. And a lot of people just know that what can do that kind of job is only a de-easer, but a multiband can also do that job. So here is my vocal. This is the vocal my artist, and it has uh, a lot of S's. So I just want to control those S's a little bit. And this is how uh, the vocal sounds like without uh, de-easing. So while there are S's, I want to uh, drop in a multiband compressor, then I want to show you guys how you can do it. So any multiband compressor can do the work. I'm going to go to multiband compressor and pick up a C6, a C6 stereo compressor from Webs, multiband compressor. Then I'm going to, what you do is uh, bypass all these, bypass all these, bypass all these, basically switch them off switch them off and only remain with uh this band right here this band right here this one right here see when i solo it up yeah so this is the band that you have to remain with and now i'm gonna give you a number that you are going to type in here where it is written frequency so in your multiband compressor any multiband compressor that you're using it has frequency so in the frequency just double click in the frequency and put this number that i'm gonna uh show you 6259 so 6259 and then hit enter so what we want is just this band to be like this we want this area just this band to be like that the next what i'm gonna do is play it and then i'm gonna uh drop what you do is drop the threshold see what what let me do it then i'm gonna show it to you guys <laughs> drop it down like that then also come to range this range and just drop it down to make negative 11.5 basically for now that's what you have to do and then the next thing is the threshold has to be dropped in order for dsing to start for example let me start play let me play it you won't see anything happening till i drop down the threshold so you drop down the threshold <laughs> Nothing is happening on the S's, so now I'm going to drop down the threshold to negative 30.8. Put it to negative 30.8 or to a place where you begin to see uh, compression happening on the de-easing on the S's like this. See, whenever I say S, the multiband compressor will definitely will automatically like uh, work on this on the S's. This is before. Too much, but now. So this is one of the best ways the multiband compressor just does work on that particular frequency and will not affect the rest of the vocal. This is one great uh, trick that I use uh, most of the times whenever I feel like I don't want the DSR like when I'm not liking what the DSR is doing. I just come to the multiband compressor and just do these little things that I have done and the S's just see how the vocal has just uh, uh, been warmed up and the S is reduced. Before, after, Woo! beautiful. So, I uh, hope this video is gonna help you, uh, like, uh, work on your mixes even much better and also just improve on your mixes and the S's and the DSing. Don't forget to subscribe and like. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>